Uh, so, hi, I'm Mehmet Şevket Ulda from uh, Istanbul Technical University. Uh, I'm going to explain you about um, Unison PV activities and that what have uh, been going on, what has been going on in our country, and also what uh, we are going to do. Sorry about my voice. I shot too much last night, so. Okay. I'm going to talk about our meeting, our project, our CENSAT training, uh, courses, and hands-on education. So let's start with the meeting. Uh, we are getting together uh, every once a month in order to uh, take some notes uh, and decide what to do next month or next week. So, uh, And also, during these meetings, we are not just some university students. Sometimes we go to high schools, middle schools, or primary schools, and even we accept kindergarten schools to our laboratory and let them play with the satellite structure so uh, they can, how can, how can I say, experience a little bit of uh, science and technology. So uh, our on ongoing main projects are BeagleSat, HavelSat, and Ubaksat. Uh, Besides from these, we are also building quadrocopters and sensors in order to teach the students how to collaborate with each other and to teach them how to start a project from a scratch. So uh, last year we had done a sensor uh, training program and this year we will do it again uh, in summer. And also we are doing the sensor training in the university uh, all year long. With the students we that we started in, in last September, every student is building his or her own CENSAT and that we are planning to launch it this summer if everybody will, uh, I don't know, come or finish the uh, satellite. So, okay, uh, we also encourage students to learn uh, by teaching. So, uh, we are giving tests to every student that they need to learn every week and they need to explain it to other people so that uh, they can be more responsible while learning it. And th that's the photo that uh, one of the students is explaining uh, embedded systems. We are also teaching uh, lots of different things, PCB design, structural design, and also documentation uh, because when they uh, work in the real project, the documentation becomes a very big problem, so that's what are we doing right now. Okay, so this is our clean room. Uh, we provide hands-on education in every aspect. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty pretty messy, but we cleaned it up. Uh, everyone is welcome to visit our lab, and also we also let the kindergarten students to get in the clean room so they can see what we are doing. Okay, this is our TV that uh, also the undergrad students uh, are there to for the testing and they also learn how to do the TV test and its procedures. Also, we have some uh, high school interns that we also teach them or show them a little about the TV test. This is our clean room again. Uh, this is our kitchen so that once you got in, you cannot get out, so you need to work pretty hard, but you can eat. Also, yeah, okay, this is our kitchen again, and th that's our bed, that you can also stay if you want. You can also sleep on the floor of the clean room, it's pretty clean actually, so you can s do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, th that's all for now. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you for your presentation. Any questions? Okay, go next to the presenter.